Hi, Cancer. You need to know this right now for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, cancer. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have yourself, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Cancer, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Cancer, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Cancer, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Cancer, what about Cancer? What about Cancer? Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Cancer, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, Cancer, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Cancer. Clarify judgment for cancer. Clarify judgment for cancer. <laughs> You're at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Cancer. Clarify the magician for cancer. Clarify the magician for cancer. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Cancer, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. So Cancer, listen, I feel like you have to make a judgment. Or someone here may have to make a judgment because you could be trying to manifest commitment and the other person needs to make a, ju a judgment here. Or you're trying to manifest making a judgment or decision concerning commitment or some type of property here. Or your financial foundation or stability here. Cancer, you have the high priestess. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. 
She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Cancer, this could all be work or business, yes? You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. So... Mm. First of all, you can tell me that you're using your intuition, that you're willing to work things out with this person. You know, someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance to restore you guys' commitment. You can tell me that you're using your intuition concerning work or business. Like I said, you may need to make a judgment call concerning your financial stability. However, you could be secretly working on something or planning something here. Are you trying to manifest some type of celebration or a commitment here? Cancer, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability of commitment has been halted here. So Cancer, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles but cancer. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this could be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Cancer, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Oh, I, oh, y'all just know how I feel about this. Oh, 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 oh. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you have to make a judgment call, maybe filing legal documentation or paperwork concerning some type of an agreement concerning your stability, your financial stability here. You could also tell me that this is about some type of legal documentation or paperwork concerning maybe you guys' commitment here, okay, or solidifying you guys' commitment. Very well could have been a long time coming. However, you can tell me that there's a cutting off with this soulmate connection and you guys are going stagnant here. And you're asking yourself whether or not you want to work on this or forgive and give a second chance here. Cancer, you have the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. 
You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles. For cancer, clarify the four of pentacles. For cancer, clarify the four of pentacles. For cancer, it is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Cancer, listen, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. So Cancer, listen, this could be a financial situation going on with work or business or some type of partnership where you're having to hold on to your coins, save your money, be thrifty here. This is something that's bothering you, okay? You could also tell me that you're all up in your head, stressed, because maybe you're kind of closed off to this person. They could be asking you for forgiveness in a second chance, or is you still holding on to this person? Just feel like you want more out of the relationship, though. Cancer, you have the world. You may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So, Kent, so listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For cancer, clarify the world. For cancer, clarify the world. For cancer, it is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Cancer, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that, hmm, could be some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property, but it may require some type of travel here. This could be work or business and some type of blessing here. You can tell me a cycle's closing out and you're getting a new blessing. Could be work or business or some type of new partnership. You could also tell me that a cycle is closing out because someone has new love. But I feel like this is a read of someone coming back around again and wanting to start a new era in love here. Either you have to make a judgment call about leveling up or going into some type of commitment with this person. Or you're waiting on a judgment call because you're trying to manifest having this commitment or stability here. Working things out, using your intuition or whether or not you guys are going to work things out. So I feel like this is a coming back around again. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Cancer. Whew. Now this is just additional messages here, Cancer. And it says, interlude, pause, timing factor. Interlude, pause, timing factor. Hmm. There was a pause. What else for cancer? What else for cancer? Divine feminine here. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Cancer, you need to know this right now for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.